than your child. Remember, the pavement feels a lot softer. To a skateboarder and a helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, and gloves. Your average car on the road acts a lot more friendly when a child on a bike knows the rules of the road. And a child roller skating on even pavement spends a lot more time skating, not falling. For free safety information, write wheels. Washington, D.C. 20207. Wheels. Washington, D.C. 20207.
New girder and panel, bridge and skyscraper action building set. Wow, what you build? A giant skyscraper. It's a snap. Here, you can build the drawbridge. It's easy. Ready for another girder? Raise drawbridge. Up elevator. Girder and panel lets you build from the ground up. We did it! The girder and panel, bridge and skyscraper action building set. New from Kenner. eating my alphabets, a ghost tried to get me. Oh no, what'd you do? I ate him. Good thing I had my alphabets. Post alphabet cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. I could do magic. How? With my magic box. Put a letter on top, close it, and I'll guess it. A. You're right. One magic box trick in each specially marked box of alphabets. Neat trick. Neat magic box. <laughs> It's the CB Bears. Boogie, hustle, and bump. Mobile mystery solvers. With blast off buzzard and crazy legs in a constant comedy chase of laughs and fun. Along with Slipshod Sheriff and his posse impossible. All rolled into a surprise package of excitement on the CB Bears Show. Big friends want to try honeycomb. He says it's real big. It is. Hey, is it big? Hey, it's big. And post honeycomb cereal is part of a balanced breakfast. Wow, neat CB iron on. Got it in honeycomb. Right on. I got smoky bait. CB iron ons want a neat specially marked box of honeycomb. Hey, you got dragon. Ten four, good buddy. <laughs> This is a slime monster. The slime runs out of his mouth. This is the slime monster game, where you slime the other players with the monster. It's my turn. And sometimes, they slime you. The winner gets the monster. The loser has to clean up. Oh, yuck. 
this Slime Monster game comes complete with Slime Compound, new from Mattel. Get ready for the CB Bears. <laughs> Breaker 1-9, Charlie the Perfume Wagon. Come on, Breaker. Breaker? <laughs> Is something broken? Uh, no, I don't. She wants you to answer the CB. Of course. I'm just testing to uh, keep you on your toes, Bump. <laughs> What's up, Charlie? Strange things are happening in Drakenstein. Drakenstein? You mean that place where the, uh, the creepy vampires and the howling werewolves and... Those are all just superstitions, Hustle. <laughs> oh, I love to listen to Charlie. Everyone in Drakenstein is mysteriously asleep, and it's up to you to find the cause. The whole town's asleep? <laughs> well, uh, we'll handle it, Charlie. Nothing can stop the CB bears. The hot dog. <laughs> well, almost nothing. We gotta get the dragon stand before dark, Bob. Can't you go any faster? Yeah, I could go twice as fast if we were heading home. Stop with that sign ahead, Bum. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Hustle? Well, that's hard to say, Boogie. You see, the sign is blank. <laughs> blank? Perhaps I can help. No! No! All roads lead to Drakenstein. Which one takes the longest? I am Maria Obligaya, and I know all things. If you go to Drakenstein, you will never come back. Never? I can say no more. I think she said enough. Beware! 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 Yeah, let me out of here! Come with you, Bob! Wow! Here it is. Dragonstein at last. Never was asleep. Just like Charlie said. Well, somebody sure forgot to wind that big clock in the squire. It ran down at noon or midnight. Now look, there's got to be an answer here, so let's find it. Yeah, before it finds us. <laughs> <laughs> let's check out this old inn. <laughs> Everybody inside, let's go. Move it, move it. Now, how come we always have to go first? Because Boogie is shorter and you're taller. That's why. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. He's just asleep like everybody else in Dragonstein. I know that, Boogie. I was just, uh... I was just checking the chandelier for clues. Yeah, sure, I some valuable looking things here. You like those paintings? <laughs> and that statue. And that vase. And this rock. Hey! No! What's going on here? <laughs> I think that's a clue. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, they're all gone. The paintings, the statue. Yeah, that creepy guy. Yeah, after him. <laughs> oh, he got away. Hmm. Now, where would a little place like this get valuable art like that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the kind of stuff you'd find in a castle. Something tells me that's where we're going to find the answer. Uh-oh. Let's go, Bump. But I don't want to go. 
The castle belonged to Count Drakenstein Hustle. But the family went broke centuries ago. Nobody lives there now. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll, we'll check it out. Maybe there's nobody alive here. What about vampires and werewolves and ghosts? <laughs> well, you cut it out, bound. You're just gonna scare yourself. If nobody's here, then why are you knocking, Hustle? Because it's polite. <laughs> well, how do you get in this place? <laughs> Maybe this does something. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's having a good time. <laughs> Come on! Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Boogie, 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 boogie. Stop! Who shut the door? Stop! Ah! Don't hurt me, Mr. Vampire. I'm only a bear. <laughs> Hi, guys. Isn't this terrific hiding place? You're gonna need a good hiding place, one eye. Oh, thank you, Look what I found in here. What's that? It's a delivery receipt for that big clock in the town square. <laughs> it was given to the town last week by Count Brackenstein, the seven. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> you are going to get it. Count <laughs> <Girl>, Brackenstein. <laughs> Going down! You cannot get away from me! Oh, where you gonna try? Where's gonna cry? <laughs> Look at what we found. I the missing stuff and more. The, the cop is a thief. Look at this tapestry he stole. Yes! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it. So, I found you. <laughs> we know what you're up to. Stealing from the poor peasant. Stealing? These things belong to my ancestors, who used them to pay debts centuries ago. The villagers don't appreciate them. Yeah, I know, but you can't just steal them back. Uh, yeah, how'd you put everybody to sleep? You will never know. <laughs> I bet I can guess. No! You put them under a spell like this. With the big clock, you gave to Drakenstein. You are right. I was a bad cow. Good work, Boogie. We're really proud of... <laughs> Uh-oh. So we return the stolen things and the counts in the Drakenstein jail. <laughs> Good work, Boogie. And, uh, hustle and bump her out of their trance? Sure. Otherwise, I could probably tell them to be chickens or something. <laughs> and... What's that noise, Boogie? <laughs> I'll get back to you, Charlie. <laughs> hey, Fowler! Wait a minute! <laughs> Always have to be Lucky Charms, the frosted old cereal with sweet marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Part of this complete breakfast. Oh, they're coming. I'll make a witch's broomstick and fly away. They're magically delicious. 
Slinky toys are fun toys. What walks downstairs alone or in pairs and makes a slinkity sound. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's slinky. It's slinky, it's slinky. For fun, it's a wonderful toy. It's slinky, it's slinky. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. The plastic slinky comes in yellow, red, or blue, each sold separately. Another adventure with Undercover Elephant. What a beautiful day for listening to my new tape deck. Yeah, and it's laying out some groovy sounds on the cover. Hey, a new cassette. Something tells me that was a secret pigeon. International spies, led by the infamous Dr. Sinister, have stolen plans for our latest aircraft carrier. Your assignment, Undercover Elephant, stop Dr. Sinister. We have a tip he's flying to Hong Kong. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Torch it, Undercover, torch it! <laughs> it's, it's, it's stuck! I... I... Fools in Washington will never stop me now. We'll be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, tea, or milk? Nothing. Don't bother us, stewardess. We're busy. First, we'll try to sell the plans to the Hong Kong spy, one low gal. If she won't pay our price, we'll go to... Excuse me, stewardess. How about a cheese sandwich? Quiet, thou mouse. Wow, we You are the most. No one would ever guess that you are undercover elephant. Undercover elephant? An amazing disguise. <laughs> Cover elephant, you'll never catch us now. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Oh, it isn't time, loudmouth. Follow those parachutes! Hey! Get me off of here! Taxi, gentlemen. Take us to the airport. We're flying to Italy. Little did I know, I am taking them to the police station. Hurry it up, driver. We've got no time to waste. Faster. Yes, sir. That's no rickshaw driver. That's undercover elephant. Sinister, you are under arrest. Who's under arrest, undercover? Dr. Sinister will regret this. I will get him for Grand Theft Rickshaw. <laughs> undercover, Dr. Sinister and the creeps. Hang on, Lord now. Here we go. What a bummer, undercover. We're out again. But that won't stop us now. It's the leaning tower of Pisa. And they're heading upstairs. We have them cornered now. Right on. Those weirdos don't have a chance against you, undercover. Oh, no! It's Undercover Elephant again! Blast his sneaky gray hide! That must be where they're meeting a contact, Loud Mouse. I dig it. Now you can make the bust. Here I go! When 
when their contact shows up, I'll get them all. It's Undercover Elephant. How did he find us? Uh oh, they're making their getaway in a water taxi. for a submarine. Looks like we're gonna need one. Ghost presents Crazy Cartons. Every box is a bowl. Your mission, kids, is to find Crazy Cartons. We found Crazy Cartons, Chief. Great. They're like milk cartons. Every box is a bowl. You pour milk in, you need to add your own bowl. There's five different cereals. I've got honeycomb. I've got alphabets. You can have a different cereal every day. And there's a comic on every box. And Crazy Carton cereal is part of Bounce Breakfast. Crazy Cartons. Every box is a bowl. I've got new Cocoa Pebbles. Looks more chocolatey, tastes better than ever. But we can't let Betty or Wilma see the chocolatey color roll. Hi, fellas. How's your eyes? Hey, don't look. Oh, you'll turn into a chocolatey monster. Oh, boy. Looks more chocolatey. You have some girls. New Post Cocoa Pebbles cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. Tastes better than ever. <laughs> what a delicious feeling. New Cocoa Pebbles. Sure, tastes better than ever. Looks more chocolatey. Looks chocolatey. <laughs> Get ready for Blast Off Buzzard!
Your kids have probably seen this commercial. It's for a new cereal called Cookie Crisp. Looks and tastes like crisp little cookies. Now, what makes Cookie Crisp cereal part of a good breakfast? The answer is here. Cookie Crisp is fortified with eight vitamins plus iron. It's part of a complete breakfast that's good for kids. And I wouldn't let them eat it if it weren't. Cookie Crisp. Chocolate chip and vanilla wafer flavor, too. New from Checkerboard Square. When a fruit and cereal lover finishes that last piece of fruit, she's finished. That's why Post makes Raisin Bran with so many sweet, chewy raisins. She can get fruit in her first spoonful, her next spoonful, and her next. The way Post makes Raisin Bran, she can get fruit in every spoonful and never have to run out. No wonder Post Raisin Bran is the fruit and cereal lover's cereal. It's the king! T-shirts, bubblegum, ring-a-ding-ding! Home is a touchdown, king, king, king!
play, Sneaky Sam. Sterling, I wouldn't have done it any sneakier myself. <laughs> that pass was for you, Kay. What happened? Sterling jumped me from behind and stole the ball. That's not all he's gonna steal. Yeah, we just found out he's running against you for class president. And Sneaky Sam's helping him. Relax, girls. Sterling hasn't got a chance against the king. The king's the people's choice. Right on, Clyde. Yeah, but if Sneaky Sam is Sterling's campaign manager, we're gonna need help. Hey, what if all us girls got together to campaign and then we... Hey, thanks, Sheena, but politics is men's work, you know? Let's go, fellas. Men's work, huh? We'll see about that. Big H, you're my campaign manager. Let's hear some ideas. The first thing is to make sure everybody knows your name. Everybody does know the king's name. I mean, they've got to know you're running for class president. <laughs> so, like, what's our first move? Hey, what's happening? Who cut the lines? What's going on? Hey, who did that? Hey, there's Sneaky Sam! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sterling, hit it. <laughs> He's plastered the whole town with his campaign posters. Wow, too much. They've got signs everywhere except... Oh? We gotta come up with something real spectacular to top this. Hey, I didn't mean this spectacular. Yeah! Yeah! Just think, you'll be the first guy to jump the Mississippotamic River on a skateboard. Yeah, you'll be bigger than Evil Knievel. <laughs> If I live that long. Get ready. The king will be coming down any second. And have I got a surprise for him. Okay, king. The crowd's ready. But I'm not. Sorry, fellas. I made up my mind. I'm not gonna go. You'll never make it across the river now. <laughs> hey, what happened? Hey, King, which one is you and which one is the fish? <laughs> <laughs> I said there was something fishy about that skateboard stunt. Don't worry, King. We've got a big rally going for you at school tonight. Yeah, we rally do. Get it? Rally? <laughs> Cut. Fellow students, my campaign is really rolling. Yeah, downhill. <laughs> We're gonna get things moving again. Hey, King, I think we're already moving. Bye-bye, King. <laughs> hey, what's happening?
say cool. Look out! I can't see. Where are we going? Hey, look what happened. The dress shrunk. You think you're in trouble? Look at my head. The king's gonna get... I can't look! Anybody got any more great ideas? We got the whole school out watching for you, Kang. We got the sky riding smoke pot ready. Yeah, I just hope everybody can read your handwriting. Hang on! This ought to get King a lot of votes. Oh, boy. My glad that's over. We're not finished yet. I gotta fly back and underline it. I wonder what those two are up to this time. Let's follow them and find out. Not bad, Skids. Real cool. Hey, my coat. Turning and Sneaky went into the voting room. That's funny. The election isn't until tomorrow. A couple of hundred more votes for you won't hurt, huh, Styly? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh-oh. We caught you cheating in the election. And you know what that means, Sterling? You're out of the race. You sure out-sneaked yourself this time, Sneaky. I'm sorry. Me too. Hey, we made it. Hello, students. As you know, Sterling Silver was disqualified for cheating. You're a cinch, King. Thanks, yucca, old pal. And our new president has won by a landslide. Hey, naturally. I better get up there for my acceptance speech. And the winner, chosen in a write-in vote by all the girls at school, is Sheena! Yay! Yay! Thank you, all my loyal friends. And furthermore, <laughs> Sheena, uh, 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 <laughs> Hey, uh, congratulations, Sheena. You'll make a great president. Thanks. I may be the president, but you'll always be the king. Hey, you're right, Sheena. Hooray! Twice sweeter. And new post honeycomb cereal is part of a balanced breakfast. Ah, I knew that. <laughs> Frankenstein, it's glowing to get you. Werewolf is glowing to get you. One glow in the dark creeping monster in each specially marked box of new honeycomb. You put it together. The monsters are glowing to get us. Star Wars. You and your children loved it. <laughs> Now, the Earthlings at Kenner have asked my associate and me to present the Star Wars collection. Truly remarkable toys and games for your children. What are you so excited about now? My goodness, the Star Wars TIE Fighter and X-Wing Fighter. Now your children can relive our great space battles or collect our wonderful Star Wars companions with Kenner's Star Wars action figures. R2, it's a little you. Kenner's new radio-controlled R2-D2 anyone can command. Ah, the Star Wars land speeder that moves like it's floating. And here's Kenner's Death Star space station, four floors of action. A trash compactor too. Yes, R2, that's the Star Wars electronic laser battle, a game of speed, reflex, and reaction. These and other toys and games in Kenner's Star Wars collection are sold separately. Batteries are not included. 
May the force be with you and your children. Play them low. I've been playing them low. And I've lost 28 games in a row. Make that 29, Herc. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. Excuse, Excuse the interrupt. What is it, Sentinel One? All data indicates the entire North Pole has vanished. Vanished? But that's impossible. Billions of tons of snow and ice don't just vanish. It has happened and could throw the Earth out of balance and out of orbit. You're talking about the end of the world! Affirmative, if the situation is as it appears to be. Well, where do we start? How about the scene of the crime? Right, let's get on it! A final warning. Proceed with caution. For one thing is certain, this was no accident. Don't worry, S1. We'll watch our step. If there's anything around to step on. Commence launch. Do you get anything? I detect a powerful magnetic presence. You mean there's something out there? Something invisible? Affirmative. The exact size and shape of the missing North Pole. Hey, maybe the pole actually slipped into another dimension. The energy presence does exist, so it is possible. And you, Mercury, 
may hold the key to this strange mystery. Me? How? Your speed can match the velocity of light itself, which is, in a sense, invisible. So you want me to crash the dimensional barrier at top speed? If there is such a barrier, you may find nothing, or... Or what? My probes unable to determine what is inside magnetic presence. Mm. Well, whatever it is, I hope it doesn't like Chinese food. You mean you're ready to give it a try? No, but that never stopped me before. Here goes! <laughs> Place this is. Mistress, an intruder has penetrated the dimensional barrier. What? How can that be? His entry has caused damage to the barrier. It is now unstable. Herc, Astria, do you read me? Come in. Ever since Mercury vanished, all I get is this static. Same here. Mercury, are you there? Mercury! Whoever he is, he had to travel at tremendous speed to pierce our barrier. We are spilling power through the hole he created. Barrier growing weaker. We must do something fast. And perhaps this intruder is just the person to help us. S1, we've lost all contact with Mercury and we're plenty worried. Do not jump to hasty conclusions, Astria. My sensors detect mercury has disrupted magnetic barrier, and I may soon be able to probe it. Look, the barrier is weak. It's breaking up, S1. Quick, Herc, now's our chance. We found our missing polar ice cap, but now mercury's gone. Companions and I are known as young sentinels. We protect the Earth using powers that no other humans have, and we... Good Mercury! The three of you will serve my purposes very well. Very well indeed. Sentinel-1! Come in, Sentinel-1! The Force Dome is shielding communications. Well, Mercury's got to be here somewhere. Come on! Two more intruders approaching. Excellent! Excellent! Your friends are outside, Mercury, and they want to play. Now run along. Wahoo! Yippee! <laughs> Mercury! Oak! Oh, hey, what are you trying to do, little buddy? Oh, come on! Come on. Hey, get going. Stop it, will you? Come on, enough fun and games. Whoa! What a delightful entrance, my dear. Who are you? I am the sorceress. So you're the one behind all this hocus pocus. Not hocus pocus. Pure science. Follow me. Will you cut it out, Merc? This is no time for fooling around. Why are you doing all this? I need vast amounts of energy to power my illusions. But my world has run out of energy. <coughs> However,
However, my thought probes have discovered what I need in an Earth laboratory. A new invention that will convert any substance into pure energy. With it, my powers will be unlimited. And you and your friends are going to get it for me. You're out of your mind. Am I? Watch. from under this thing. No. I can't hold it. Ah, oh, come on. Quit kidding. I'm not kidding. I feel weak. Whatever you're doing to him, stop it. He's doing it to himself, my dear. It's all in his own imagination, which I am controlling. Like to see more? I've got to get out of here, huh? I can't move. Don't understand what you see, do you? <laughs> That's because illusions are so simple, they're deceiving. I understand one thing. I'll never let you get away with this. No. Come near my control panel again. You're... you're a living part of this computer. Your sorcery is all electronic tricks, and electronics can be short-circuited. Yes, my dear, but never in a lifetime by you. S1! What am I doing here? Sentinel-1! That's my trick city creature! You put it together just like this! Wow! It's moving! One sea creature in specially marked boxes of tricks! Baking powder not included. Hot biggity tricks! Hey, who's dog? She wants juice toast, milk, and tricks! Yum! Tricks in raspberry red, lamb and yellow, orange, orange! Woo! It's the rabbit! Silly rabbit! Kids. Getting tricks is rough. <laughs> rough. Remember when you liked to do the hula hoop? <laughs> Have a lot of fun, you did the loop de loop. <laughs> well, times have changed, it's a different world. <laughs> but it's still lots of fun for boys and girls. And the fun is still Shoop Shoop Sound, only by Whammo. In the town of Durango, a notice was hung. Breakfast, it said, must not be fun. No fun! No! Oh. <laughs> the shape of the S. Never fear, I bring fun back to breakfast with Kellogg's Corny Snap Cereal. The shape of the S. And the taste of sweet, crunchy corn. Bless you, masked turtle. There's fun in your good breakfast with... Snap. S1, what's happening to you? I don't know what you mean, dearest Astria. Ah! Hey, that will keep you out of my way, since you are already prisoners of your own imagination. Just 
perfect, my darlings. Now, get me the Dalton Energy Synthesizer. All systems ready. We can begin the demonstration now, General. Excellent. Let's get on with it. We can feed this energy synthesizer any ordinary material, like a spoonful of sand. And it's converted into electrical energy. The results are the very same with water. Common house dust. Of course, the machine is still experimental and dangerous, but... But it's fantastic! The possibilities are endless! Young Sentinels, what brings you here? Nobody move! Is there something wrong? Do as she says. They're stealing the synthesizer! with my own eyes. The young sentinel stole the energy synthesizer. Impossible, General. I have been monitoring the North Pole region, and they are still there. Look, I know you're not programmed to lie, Sentinel-1, but that missing synthesizer is highly dangerous. If anyone tries to use it, it may overload, and I'm holding the young sentinels responsible. <laughs> They couldn't, they couldn't have done, done it. it. Lock on all scanners. Full amplification. Focus on North Pole. Yeah! The Sentinel! Negative. They are made of pure energy. Artificial duplicates. As I suspected. Such complex beings could only be generated by extremely powerful intelligence, probably electronic. Precisely. If we are to assist the Sentinels, we must contact that computer. I'll get right on it! I will have the energy I need to control this entire planet. My powers, I have to concentrate. It's an illusion. You're just an illusion. Mercury, you can beat this thing. Concentrate. I can beat it. Astria, what's going on? I'll explain later. First, we have to help Hercules. Time is of the essence, maintenance operator. Done! All circuits rewired. Excellent. Prepare to make computer to computer contact. At last! Quickly! We must install it! My mind's playing tricks again. That's me! No, they're duplicates, and they've stolen the Dalkron energy synthesizer. We can't let her hook that machine up. At the moment, we don't have any choice. Hurry! 
I need that power. What's what going on, on S1? Have, Have you linked up with the supercomputer super yet? Affirmative. By draining its power, we may give the Sentinels the upper hand. How much longer? This is the final connection, Sorceress. Warning. Emergency power drain. Far Come on! Emergency! Power reserve! No! No, stop! That synthesizer's dangerous! <laughs> it certainly is! For you! Meet some of your distant relatives. <laughs> Hercules, meet Hercules! The machine! It's starting to overload! Uh, uh. Oh no, you don't! Oh. oh, oh! Hey, this guy's getting stronger by the second! Hurt! Help! Hang on, Merc, I'm coming! Stop him! Whoa. be moved, clear of the earth, immediately. That sounds like my department. I will drain power from supercomputer. Perhaps we can force the sorceress back into her own dimension. Warning. Power drain. Power drain. You have beaten me this time. I will return! And we'll be waiting for you. We did it! We did it! Negative. The energy synthesizer has yet to be disposed of. Okay, Merc. I'll take it from here. And the North Pole is back where it belongs. The whole thing seems like it was all a dream now. Yes, a bad dream. Well, for a dream it's awful cold. Let's go home. You like my coat? It's made of golden sugar. Mmm, tastes like the golden sugar coating on the super sugar crisp. Hey, boss, look! Yeah, a golden bear. Hold on, this is a golden sugar coat. Mmm, mmm, it's just like my cereal's golden sugar coating. Mm -mm. Golden sugar coating makes my cereal... Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah! And post super sugar crisp cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. I love your cereal's golden sugar coating. That's why they call me Sugar Bear. It's the Star Wars Imperial Troop Transporter that you put together. Batteries not included. Stormtrooper sold separately. What's that? It's my troop transporter. It makes five more sounds, too. R2-D2, where are you? 
is the laser cannon, stun gun, and stormtrooper. Did he say that? Oh, Dad. Star Wars Imperial Troop Transporter. Stormtrooper sold separately. New from Kenner. I'm going to visit the kids at McDonald's. I think I'll take the elevator. Nobody can do it like Ronald can. This isn't McDonald's. <laughs> this isn't McDonald's. <laughs> Wrong again, Ronald. Aha. Uh -huh. This is where I get off. Hey, kids, there's a new McDonald's in Issaquah. There'll be surprises to celebrate, plus the Ronald McDonald Show. See Ronald this Saturday at 2 in Issaquah on Gilman. It's Kenner's new girder and panel, bridge and skyscraper action building set. Wow, what'd you build? A giant skyscraper. It's a snap. Here, you can build the drawbridge. It's easy. Ready for another girder? Raise drawbridge. Up elevator. Girder and panel lets you build from the ground up. We did it! The girder and panel, bridge and skyscraper action building set. New from Kenner. Gee, what a drag. We all have free tickets to the new amusement park, and the opening gets delayed for a month. Yeah, now we got a whole weekend with nothing to do. I really wanted to pick up on that amusement park scene. Hey, I know. Let's have a picnic. Hey, not bad. Sounds great. Sack races, stuff like that. Hard-boiled eggs, sandwiches, pickles. Ants. Great idea, Sabrina. But where will we have it? How about that nice clearing in Riverdale Woods? Go oh, away! Hey, hey, why not? Yeah, that's a cool, idea. Man. Thanks for the ride. See you at the picnic tomorrow. Oh, hi, Aunt Zelda. 56, 57, 58. Oh, don't bother me, Sabrina. I'm counting party favors. It's not a party, Zelda. It's a convention. We are having a convention. And you're going, too. Me? Why me? Because our leader wills it. Every witch, every warlock. That's what Della said. We must be there tomorrow afternoon. Oh, gosh, the picnic. But if Della insists. And you should spend this evening practicing your witchcraft, Sabrina. We want you at your best tomorrow at Riverdale Woods. Riverdale Woods? You, you can't. I mean, there are plenty of better places. Uh, it's too crowded. A and it's too far. Nonsense. It's a perfect place for us. And Della commands we go there. It's final. Finished. Something's finished, all right. And I think it's me. Unless... Unless Della can change her mind. What do you mean, change my mind? You dare to question my commands? It's just a little thing. Please, Della. You've just got to have the convention someplace other than Riverdale Woods. Other than Riverdale Woods? Why, child? It's... It's, um... It's too close to ordinary picnickers. <laughs> All the better. We can turn them into tree frogs, bats, toadstools. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Gee, Sabrina, that's dumb. Why not Riverdale Woods? Well, there are so many prettier places. Come on, Sabrina. Name one. Uh... Waikiki? Oh, boy, it's gonna be great to meet Mother Nature. I hope that's all you meet. 
double bubble toil and trouble. Wing of bat, claw of newt, tongue of owl, who gives a hoot? Oh, where is that naughty Sabrina? I'd like Della to see how she's coming along on her spell casting. Your attention, please. The convention of the Riverdale chapter of witches, warlocks, and weirdos is now in session. Okay, guys, run out! And so, let me say, in welcoming you... Hey, Sabrina, where are you going? Huh? Oh, uh, just taking a little walk. Oh, well, I'll join you. No, no, uh, I mean, I want to just stroll alone. There she is! Oh, wicked girl! Hi, Time! Hi. Sorry I'm late. Oh, shh. Della has never been more furious. She's thinking of changing the Green Bay Packers into mice. Thrower of this evil ball. Fear the witches, great and small. We here cast a wretched spell when I raise my hand to... Wait! I mean... Wait until everybody gets here. It'll be a better spell. <clears throat> well, Cousin Ambrose isn't here yet. <coughs> oh, Ambrose! Like that? <laughs> nice, huh? Well, I've been working on it for weeks. Now watch, watch. I'll disappear just as easy. <laughs> Terrific, Ambrose. Oh, <laughs> it's still got a couple of kinks in it. Aha! I know. The person responsible shall forever walk on his hands. <laughs> Let's see him try to throw something with his feet. Oh, I better get back over there. Thanks for the idea, Ambrose. Don't worry, don't fret. All that's happened, you must forget. Oh, hi, Sabrina. Where have you been? Oh, um... Over in that other clearing, over there. All by yourself? Uh-huh. Uh, not quite alone, Sabrina. <laughs> Ambrose, go away. Hey, where is everybody? Over in that other clearing. They need more room for the three-legged Sacris. Come on, Ambrose. Let's hope we're in time. Oh, no! Ambrose, your head's showing! Running out, Arch! <coughs> oh! 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 Um. Hey! What's this? Oh, dear! <coughs> uh, uh, sorry, sir. I thought you were a football. <laughs> And so, in the coming year, let us dedicate ourselves to a quality of witchcraft that will cover us with glory! <laughs> what is this? Gosh, sorry, lady. When interlopers come in threes, I shall turn them into... What is this? Which one of you did that? I wanted to turn them into bees' knees. Fly back and heed this law. Forget everything that you saw. Phew. Uh, hey, yeah, what's going on? Man, I'm deflated. Now burn it in, Archie! Okay, you asked for it! And that is my final warning to any of you who dare to thwart my witchcraft. Why 
where's that ball? Those two. Hmm. Iguanas. Yes. That's what I'll turn them into. Forever. Let's see. I've used balloons. Ah, clouds. That'll get them out of here. Just for fun, and cause I wanna, turn them into an... One of you will pay for this. Who did it? Hi, Sabrina. Let's go over to that fun picnic again. <laughs> it's more fun. <laughs> okay, Ambrose. Once when I was eating my alphabets, the beast from the swamp tried to get me. Oh no, what'd you do? I ate him. Good thing I had my alphabets. Post alphabet cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. Yeah? Well, once when I was eating my alphabet, a Martian tried to get me. Oh no, what'd you do? I ate him. Good thing you had your alphabets. Yeah. These kids are playing with Mr. Quarterback, the automatic football passer from Coleco. To start the action, set the timer, choose the pass you want, cock the arm, and get ready. Hut, hut, run your pattern. A perfect pass every time. Great catch. Touchdown. With Mr. Quarterback, the automatic football passer, you can run all kinds of pass plays. It's fun with a whole group, one-on-one, -on -one, or even by yourself. Mr. Quarterback from Coleco. Fisher Price presents The Adventure People Toys for your older kids There's the Northwoods Trailblazer Ready for his adventures Or the Daredevil Skydiver To go as high as a child can toss him And the TV Action Team To play with on its own Or with any of our 13 other Adventure People toys The Adventure People and their TV Action Team Comes complete as shown Other sets sold separately By Fisher Price Hey, look! Clouds! Yeah! Pretty strange ones, too. You ever see clouds float to the ground like that? Archie! Where'd you come from? I... I don't know! Wait, everybody! There's nothing over there! Oh, come on, Sabrina! Let's check it out! Come on! Check it out. Hey. Come on. Ooh, well... Looks like I'm finished in Riverdale. Wait till you see them, Sabrina. Those people look like they belong in the new amusement park. That's it. I hope it works. Powers all, both light and dark. Please move the new amusement park. <laughs> hey, look! A carnival's moved in! Meetings adjourned. Witches, warlocks, all of us, let's blow this place in a nice new bus. Too bad we're broke. Now that they're run, let's get inside and have some fun. Hey, look! Some tickets! Wowee wow! Hey, this is terrific! A great way to end a picnic! What a day! What a day! As you all know, the annual Riverdale Talent Show is only a week away. Oh, hey! <laughs> yeah! Hey, what gives with this talent show? Once a year, we all get together and put on a show to display our various talents. Sounds like a short show. <laughs> <laughs> nah, really sounds like a lot of fun. Do you have any one talent that we should be aware of, Carlos? Are you kidding? You haven't lived until you heard me yodel in Spanish. <laughs> He's got a talent. He's funny. Plus, I'd like to introduce you to two Hollywood talent agents sitting in the back. How are you? I'm Rodney C. Rodney, the super Hollywood agent. Uh, and I'm Boris C. Norris. Uh, I'm his agent. Everybody needs an agent, you know. You mean you men have the power to make people stars? We certainly do, and we'll be looking for stars at your talent show. All right, class. Back to work. We're going to try an acting exercise called improvisation. Improv what? Son? Don't you know anything? 
Improvisation. That's it. Uh, 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 well, it's, uh... It's using our imagination to make up a scene as we go along. Exactly. All right. I need two volunteers. Hey, come okay, on, me, Miss Bernice. Hey, let me do it. Hey. Okay. All right, Jughead. I want you to be a tree. A tree? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jughead's found a profession after all. You're the one who should be up here, Reg. You're the real sap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's settle down, class. Jughead, resume your impression of a tree. It was excellent. <laughs> Good. Now, Ethel, I'd like you to assume an identity and relate to that tree in some manner. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh, how clever! Ethel is a woodpecker! <laughs> Why me? Mm, acting is so wonderful, I think I'll make it my career. It's rotten. I'm gonna retire. This tree has had it. Timber! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Riverdale High School Talent Show. <laughs> For our first act, Betty, Veronica, and Ethel will do a dance number they've been rehearsing all week. Unusual, I must say. <laughs> Won't that girl ever leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> and now, our newest member of the class, Carlos, will show you why he is king of the flying disc. Hola, amigos. I've been studying this instrument for several years now, and would like to show you some of the things that can be done with it. I will make the disc boomerang around the auditorium. And now, for my super trick... Adios, amigos. You've been magnifico. And now, those great mystics of magic, Reggie and Moose. I have removed two eggs from my hat. And where do these eggs come from, Mr. Moose? Uh, a chicken. <laughs> exactly. I will now pull a chicken out of this empty hat. Why don't you face the audience? Are you chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Big deal! A rubber chicken! For my next trick, I will use the famous Chinese steel rings. I will now pass these steel rings through each other. <laughs> A fine help you are. Now there's a close relationship. Those poor boys have gone through enough embarrassment. Hey, we really got a flair for this magic stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, we can do it without trying. Excuse me, are you the auto mechanic? I hope you can help me. I'm having trouble with my car. Well, what's the problem? Bad acceleration. Won't take corners. The engine rattles, the brakes squeak, and the steering wheel doesn't turn. 
Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> A useless piece of tin. <laughs> no wonder you're low on oil. Hey, you didn't open the can. Don't complain. I guarantee you'll never leak oil now. <laughs> hmm, I see. Very interesting. Did you find the trouble? No, but I found a quarter I dropped this morning. <laughs> I have to test drive it. <laughs> Hey, this thing's running like a pussy cat. And that'll be three hundred dollars. I tell you, this is our best show yet. Yeah, they love us out there. Hey, kids. We just wanted to tell you how much we love the show. Yeah, you're all potential superstars. Gee, thanks. That's great. I always knew I'd be a star. You're all so talented, I'd like the opportunity to guide your career. Yeah, if anybody can make you all superstars, he can. Are you kidding? Gosh, what do we got to do? Just go on being your super talented self. There's just one little thing, though, that we always ask of our clients. And that's a small amount of money. You know, uh, for promotion and publicity. Why not? It's a small investment for our future. Uh, here's our class funds, $110.08. Not a bad take. I mean, uh, that's enough to take your names to every producer in Hollywood. Great! A week from now, every producer in Hollywood will be banging on your door. We'll uh, call you soon. We're going to be stars! Excuse me, but I'm looking for two men who are posing as Hollywood agents. Uh, p -p 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 posing? Yes, they're nothing but two phonies who built money out of innocent people. Oh, no! You have seen them, then. They came and went, along with our money. Well, we still might have a chance to catch them. Gee, boss, uh, we sure pulled one over on them. <laughs> yeah, a piece of cake. I think our cake just fell in, boss. Let's get him, gang. Let's run for it. Cut him off, guys. I'll get him. Congratulations, Moose. You helped catch two men we've been after for a long time. Gee, gosh, the whole gang helped. Yes, they all have talent. They may not go to Hollywood, but they certainly do have talent. <laughs> Moose, I'm presenting you with the Riverdale Merit Badge for your good deed. Uh, just one thing. Next time you accept an award, please, Try to dress a little better. <laughs> Look at that big yellow bike. It has 3,000 speeds. Wow. But this is my favorite big yellow thing. Kellogg Sugar Corn Pop Cereal. It's big. And that gives sugar corn pop the big yellow corn taste. Big, hmm? Real big. I make that big yellow corn taste part of my good breakfast. What's this? Hold on! That's the big yellow horn, son. Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. Big yellow corn cereal, big yellow corn taste. Burger King presents four bright, colorful Star Wars glasses. Hey, it's Luke Skywalker. And the princess. Gee, wow! Get your kids a different Star Wars glass each week. Buy a regular serving of Coke for 59 cents plus tax. Get Chewbacca. Get Darth Vader. R2-D2 and C-3PO. What mission are you talking about? We can get all four. Star Wars glasses at Burger King until February 2nd. Tonight on CBS. 
After my Susie homemaker, a doll you can cuddle up to. Sits in her stroller, goes where you take her. Hug a lovable Susie homemaker. Susie homemaker and her stroller go wherever you go, outside or inside. Susie homemaker and her stroller by Coleco. Assembly required. Slinky toys are fun toys. What walks downstairs, a loner in pairs, and makes a slinkity sound. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's slinky. It's slinky, it's slinky. For fun, it's a wonderful toy. It's slinky, it's slinky. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. The plastic slinky comes in yellow, red, or blue, each sold separately. Slinky toys are fun toys. There's a bright slinky train with hardly a strain as it's pulled across the floor. You'll be smitten with a cute slinky kitten or a great big caterpillar. Such handsome toys for girls and boys, you can have hours of fun. You pull their string, they do their thing, they're fun for everyone. They're slinky, they're slinky, they're fun for girls and boys. Slinky train, kitten and caterpillar with plastic bodies and the metal slinky sold separately. <laughs> Sure is a long way from from something. Now that's really heavy, Damon. Hey, Uncle Ali, race you to the creek. Sure. You want a head start? Go ahead. Hit it, Hondo. Hey, Damon, you better slow that pony down. And let you catch me? No way. Damon, don't you even try to jump that.
Come on now, Damon. Easy, now. You're a winner. Don't panic. Easy, now. Not so fast. Easy. Nikki, ride back to the ranch. Have Mrs. McBride call a doctor. And stick to the trail. Hmm. I see. Well, uh, keep him warm till I get over there. And uh, don't move him if you can help it. Now, come on. Take it easy. Just hang in there, Damon. Everything will be okay. Take your Uncle Ali's word for that. I sure hope that doctor makes it here before dark. 40 miles on that road is like 400 anyplace else. Isn't he flying kind of low? If that fool flew in low, he'd be sharing the sheep. Well, hello, champ. But uh, where's the patient? The patient's here. But where's the doctor? At your service, champ. Dr. Orville Johnson, M.D. Well, Damon, that's as much as I can do out here. I'll have to get you back to the clinic and take a few x-rays. Doc, are you trying to tell me that you want to fly him out of here? No smoking. Fasten seat belts. This plane has seen a lot. Winter's the worst. I'll never forget the big blizzard of 51. How do you feel there, Damon? Fine. He's a tough guy like me. Hold tight. We're going in. Everybody okay here? Damon? Yeah, uh, I, I think so. Doc, I don't know why, but I'm beginning to believe in you. Well, with the cast on for six weeks or so, you'll be as good as new. Which is a lot more than I can say for old Bessie. Yep, the plane looks like it could use a few patches. Yeah, I guess old Bessie's past her prime. Need a replacement pretty bad. I was hoping to win that. Which reminds me. Grand prize for the flying contest. Hello, Ben. Uh, Wilbur here. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to pull out of the contest. Oh, Bessie dropped a wheel. She isn't fit to fly. Hey, Doc. None of this loser talk. When it comes to flying, you're the champ. Listen, Doc. The least we could do is to help you to fix it up. No time to fix her up. Well, how much time do we have? Less than an hour. Well, let's get started. I would have to look around for a block and tackle to hoist her. I've been looking around for one, but... Look, Doc, your search is over. This is my block, and this is my tackle. Okay. Almost done. Take your time, Doc. This baby is as light as a feather. I don't see an airport. That Dr. Johnson doesn't need any airport. He could land a jumbo jet in a bean patch. There's the clinic. Hey, Damon. You're okay. Sure, want to sign my plaster cast? Uncle Ali did. Where is Ali? Now, where is he going? Yeah, Dr. Harris has been my co-pilot for 10 years now. He's a veterinarian, flies out of St. Helena. Hey, 
Doc. At this speed, it'll take forever. Can we go in it faster? Or oh, 15 minutes with this tailwind? 15? Man, that's still too late. Attention, please. All contestants, please report for fly-by instructions. It's a fine day to land ourselves a grand prize. Wouldn't you say, Ren? Sure, Rex, but we got some pretty tough competition. <laughs> Final call for contestants. Pilots, please stand by to start your engines. <laughs> it's a cinch, Ren, a cinch. Cinch to have some fun, anyway. Our first contestant, the Condor. Unfortunately, has failed to report. <laughs> Bessie! That was a smooth move, Doc. As smooth as the Ali Shuffle. Jenny Curtis there. Finest crop duster west of the Mississippi. Are they crop dusters too? No, just a couple of Sunday pilots. Rex Burton and Chuck Wren. They're the county cut-ups. Local comics. Peculiar sense of humor now and then. But they mean well on the whole. Good flyers. Dr. Johnson. Glad to see that you can make it for another year, Doc. Uh, hello, Rex. Uh, I'd like to stay and talk to you, but I, I have to find my co-pilot. You know who that is? That's Muhammad Ali! Oh, so what? Sorry, Wilbur. Your co-pilot got an SOS call from a sick cow. Can't you fly solo, Doc? You don't need no backseat pilot. Rules say I do. Well... It's too bad, after all your trouble getting me here. Tragic piece of luck. But you know, Doc, it's actually for the best. How's that? Well, let's face it, you're no spring chicken anymore. The excitement of the contest could be hazardous to your health, eh? <laughs> 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 Ah, but seriously, Doc, flying is best left to us younger guys. Now, don't you agree, Mr. Ali? To all pilots, prepare for the qualifying round. Folks, got some good news here. Plane number two, Bessie, is back in the contest. I think you blew it, Rex. They don't call in the greatest for nothing. Now, oh, what does a boxer know about flying? Mm -hmm. Dr. Wilbur Johnson's co-pilot is now Muhammad Ali. Did he say... Dr. Wilbur Johnson's co-pilot is now... That's what I thought he said. Now leading off the precision flying exercise will be Burton and Wren in the Queen Bee. Don't forget points are deducted from any pilot who misses the target lines on either the takeoff or the landing. Up there. 
Now let's see him stop that crate. Hey, didn't I tell you, Ren? We don't have to worry about old Doc Johnson. Sorry about that, champ. No problem, Doc. It's the last round that counts. least, Bessie. Ah, yes. <laughs> it is really going to be funny. Hand me the battery, Ren. Oh, sure. Oh. oh. Well, hurry it up. Okay, okay, okay. Now give me the rest of the stuff. Come on, come on. There. That does it. You better wash up, Rex. That battery acid will lead through anything. Didn't get any on your clothes, did you? Of course not. Do you think I'm stupid? Oh, no. Oh, good morning. By the way, Mr. Ali, I've heard that you're quite a poet, so I made up a little rhyme of my own. <clears throat> it might come as a shock if they don't win the prize, but just watch at the dock and Ali takes a dive. <laughs> That's pretty good, Ray. You can swallow that grin. You've got nothing to smile at. Cause the dock has to win when Ali's his co-pilot. <laughs> Attention, please. The freestyle follow the leader stunts. Final event of the contest will now commence. Any plane that fails to perform the stunt of the leader is eliminated. And the winner of this event will receive a big 100 points. Start your engine. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> Termites, I guess. <laughs> Another disappointment. Now the Firefly announces its withdrawal due to technical difficulties. <laughs> technical difficulties. What a wonderful sense of humor the man has. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Everybody's dropping out before they even leave the ground. The Pegasus got away okay, and there goes the swallow. Cut the engine! Doc, I smell a rat, and I have one rule that I always go by. I never go up an airplane when I smell a rat, particularly when it's ticking. Don't keep looking at them, Ren. You'll make them suspicious. Too late for that, Rex. 
Don't let us spoil sports. Well, let's go stake our claim on the grand prize. I've got a gut feeling who pulled that dirty stunt. We can talk turkey with those turkeys after you win the contest. Okay, snug up your seat, Bell Champ. Let's see what old Bessie can do. And now the moment we've been waiting for. Burton and Wren in the Queen Bee will initiate the first stunt. Now let's see how their nerves stand up to this one.
friends and fans everywhere. I'm so proud. This brings tears to my eyes to accept for Doc Johnson this beautiful prize. The Doc's taking care of a couple of folks who wound up at the end of their own bad jokes. They played their pranks on the oldest guy. They didn't know they picked on the champ of the sky. So don't forget these important words. Practical jokes are for the birds. Hey, Uncle Ali, how about it? It's got 200 horsepower. 200? <laughs> Look, Daniel, when you have figured out how to handle one horse, then we'll talk about it. Now, this may sound strange, but I haven't always been the heavyweight champion of the world. At one time, I was a contender, and I didn't always win. Yep, that's right. Nobody does. The first time I fought Joe Frazier, I got whipped, but I didn't quit. I just kept on until I got better. I trained even harder, and the next time we fought, I won. A little disappointment shouldn't get you down. It should make you stronger for the final round. Take it from the champion of the world. This is Yo Ball. Yo Ball can be a handful of fun for everyone. Throw the Yo Ball in any direction and it always comes back to your hand. You can even do tricks with Yo Ball, like over the shoulder, around the world, or you can do a snake hug. There are many other tricks you'll discover on your own. You can play with two Yo Balls and they'll always come back because Yo Ball never needs winding. Yo Ball comes, as you see it here, from nuts. Real slow. sure you know how? Well, I helped my mom put one on a lamb once. A lamb? I'm no lamb. No, you're not. You're a very rude boy. But I'll give you a hand anyway. Um, I gotta cut strips from your pants so I can tie the splints on. Got anything to cut with?
Apologize, Cindy here, or any other little girl like her, sure has got my respect. Cindy, what about our survival school, huh? Oh, Mom, don't you think it would be much more fun if we all lived together? <laughs> well, um, I guess this four-legged chauvinist thinks it's okay. I, I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> one in each specially marked box of Post Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereal. Everybody got a new Summit Twin Bar? Yes! Ready for a chocolatey candy snack? Yes! Ready to taste one good thing on top of another? Yes! Bite into those layers of wafers baked light and crispy and taste that creamy filling topped with crunchy peanuts. Well, what do you think? It's a chocolatey treat. Summit Twin Bar. It's one good thing on top of another. Monday on Little House on the Prairie. The Ingalls find themselves hopelessly torn when good friends announce their plans to divorce. Then on Tuesday, it's Man from Atlantis. Miracle crystals energize a race of underwater beings. But the evil Mr. Schubert has other plans for the energy source and for Mark. Little House on the Prairie, Monday. Man from Atlantis, Tuesday. Both starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on NBC. Sit on the rim or slide right into the Mr. Turtle Pool. 
The Mr. Turtle Pool can help to keep you cool. You can slide down the slide and have a great ride in the Mr. Turtle Pool. There's lots of room for you and even a friend or two. There's splashing fun for the little ones in the Mr. Turtle Pool. The Mr. Turtle Pool, a pool from the Slide and Splash Line by Coleco. Partial assembly required. and me to present the Star Wars collection. Truly remarkable toys and games for your children. What are you so excited about now? My goodness, the Star Wars TIE Fighter and X-Wing Fighter. Now your children can relive our great space battles or collect our wonderful Star Wars companions with Kenner's Star Wars action figures. R2, it's a little you. Kenner's new radio-controlled R2-D2 anyone can command. Ah, the Star Wars land speeder that moves like it's floating. And here's Kenner's Death Star space station, four floors of action. A trash compactor, too. Yes, R2, that's the Star Wars electronic laser battle, a game of speed, reflex, and reaction. These and other toys and games in Kenner's Star Wars collection are sold separately. Batteries are not included. May the Force be with you and your children.
It doesn't take a wizard to beat the nutrition game. Ring those bells, clang those chimes. Milk and cheese each day three times. Meats are easy points to play. Eat two servings every day. Next come vegetables and fruits. Four full servings down the chutes. Take four foods made from grain to score the bread and cereal lane. Add them together and what do you get? A super diet, you can bet. This message presented by your Dairy Council of Metropolitan New York. Once when I was eating my alphabets, a ghost tried to get me. Oh no, what'd you do? I ate him. Good thing I had my alphabets. Post alphabet cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. I could do magic. How? With my magic box. Put a letter on top, close it, and I'll guess it. A. You're right. One magic box trick in each specially marked box of alphabets. Neat trick. Neat magic box. <laughs> Around kids for the nitwits. Stay with us. The nitwits will be right back. In these times of crime and super villains, there are not enough superheroes actively engaged in crime prevention. At the mandate of the people, superhero Tyrone has come out of retirement to accept this challenge. Faster than a butterfly, he spans city blocks in record time. Agile as a caterpillar, he scales tall buildings as long as his sneakers hold. Powerful as a bulldog, he engages offenders of the law in combat, usually coming out very tired. Relentlessly determined, our superhero Tyrone, with the aid of Elmo, his cane, and Gladys, his wife, is now accepting, for a limited time, selected crime-fighting assignments. With such unselfish dedication to the elimination of evil, it is obvious that though once retired, the now active superhero Tyrone is once again the guardian of the people. Would you mind shifting your weight a little, my petunia blossom? My back is going to sleep. Oh, well, that's better. <laughs> Those suitcases are quite heavy. It's not my fault. You're the one that insisted on packing all of your superhero supplies. <clears throat> Which reminds me, did you pack Teddy Bear? Yes. And Quacky Duck? Yes, and your Humpty Dumpty pillow, and your wee willy winky slippers. Oh, 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 good. Listen to this, Tyrone. Cattle continue to mysteriously disappear out west. Mystery plagues local sheriff. I hope you remembered my cow jumped over the moon blanket. Yes. Can't you go any faster, Tyrone? You're needed in Red Gulch. Someone must stop this reckless rustler. Is there a comic section in that newspaper, my dear? How can you think of comics at a time like this? Well, how about a sports section, then? Oh! I'm only jesting my little turnip green. <laughs> oh. Harry Tyrone, you know that I don't like these long trips. I get riders cramp. Oh, I wish you'd put on some weight. You're getting so bony. Fasten your seatbelt, my little Bessarabian beetle. We're going in for a landing. I've got to get my landing gear checked out. I'd like to freshen up after a trip, but this is ridiculous. You know what's good for you, mister? You know, water your horse and get out of town. That's no way to talk to Miss Pottsville of 1933. I am not a horse. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I should have known. Of course. Horses don't carry purses, and they wear different kinds of shoes. <laughs> Hey, folks, with all this cattle rustling going on, I'm a mite jumpy. The only safe place in town is right here in jail. And all the critters we've got left. Your worries are over, Sheriff. My Tyrone will find this phantom rustler if it's the last thing he does. I wish he hadn't have put it that way. Oh, oh. Is he well? He's all right. He's just sensitive. 
Let's get busy, Tyrone. All we have to do is track down the missing cattle and we'll find that mean old rustler. Pushy, pushy. I hardly ever get a chance to catch my breath. What's that? Oh, nothing, my gorgeous slave driver. Well, let's see, I'll, uh, I'll need my magnifying glass. <coughs> um, my uh, magnifying glass, Elmo. My trusty cane. Oh. <laughs> oh, this magnifying glass is heavy. And this sand makes walking rather difficult. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, there's a tender-looking little... <laughs> We'll never find those missing cattle at this rate. Aha, but we shall, my dear, and the rustler, too. As the spouse of a superhero, you must learn patience. How can I be patient with that ugly bird watching us like that? Well, that's only a buzzard, my sweet. They only prey on fallen victims. Ah, yeah, you folks! My, but this desert sun gets powerful hot, don't it? Makes the body weak. <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear, my child bride. I shall rid us of this pest post-haste, or even sooner. Shoo! A vast avaunt, you desert scavenger, or else I shall be forced into meeting you in hand-to-hand -hand combat, resulting in, if all goes well, your decisive defeat. <clears throat> I, um, I get the feeling that he's not a very good listener, or he has a hearing problem. <laughs> Here, control yourself, Gladys. <laughs> this is no time for lollygagging. You leave my road alone, you big bully! If he hadn't had such thick socks on, he'd been a goner. <laughs> <laughs> that doggone buzzard slobbered all over my sock. Makes walking a bit soggy, you know. <laughs> Hold it, my cherub. Aha! Success! What is it, Tyrone? A cattle track? Better than that, my little peapod. I have found the footprint of a large, hideous monster. The one that has been rustling the cattle is no doubt the infamous Bigfoot. What kind of a superhero are you? Those are my footprints. We've been going in circles. <clears throat> you should have known better. Bigfoot doesn't have a hole in his shoe. Perhaps we'll have more success from a higher vantage point, my Pottsville beauty. Golly, I just gotta get me that one in the overcoat. Yeah, it's time I applied my superior buzzard IQ and catch me a gourmet delight. Howdy, strangers! Nice day for hunting! <laughs> I wonder what he meant by... A nice day for hunting. Let's see now. I hope this is the car with my handbook and balloons in it. Yep, this is it. Just really run into this beauty. Kaboom! Hey, that's strange. No kaboom. I'd better check it out. Well, it sure worked for me. Oh, so much for my superior IQ. Guess I'll just have to settle for brute force. If I'm going to get a square meal, I've got to separate those two. I've got it. I'll use the old boy story bit. <coughs> Listen, Tyrone, there's a cow somewhere in front of us. My super keen sense of hearing picked that up too, my little pear seed. There's another cow somewhere behind us. Hmm. I surmise we must be surrounded by a couple of cows. I'll look for the cow behind us, and you look for the one up ahead. Well, why didn't I think of that? And we should take the back road, and I'll take the front road, and I'll found the moo moo before her. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Stop that! Here cow, here cowie, here cow cow. <laughs> here cowboy. <laughs> Well, you're a cane after my own heart. Now look what you've done. You've 
slobbered all over my coat sleeve. Heed my word, buzzard. Give up your life of hunger and go straight. I'll not tolerate any more of your shenanigans. A superhero can be pushed just so far, and then he must resort to superhuman powers and defend himself. Oh, no. What's that bird got up his feathered sleeve? <laughs> Mayhaps that bird thinks I'll fall for his trick twice, huh? <laughs> well, I'll just put one over on him. <laughs> oh, that's a strange place to put a table. How nice of you to drop in for lunch. <laughs> oh, you've done it now. My patience has been thinned. You mean like soup? Yummy, yummy. Stay with us. The Nitwits will be right back. Unless you now turn and run off into the distance, I shall shatter you with one karate chop, as I shall now demonstrate by crushing this rock. <laughs> um, well, on the other hand, perhaps you'll be good enough to uh, take my word for it. <laughs> Did I ever tell you you look delicious when you're scared? Hold it. I dare you to cross that line. Perhaps you uh, didn't understand the severity of my challenge. Uh, mayhaps you doubt my super strength. Looks aren't everything, you know. I shall give you one last chance. Now you've gone too far. Good. Uh -huh. Well, then again, um, perhaps I've gone too far. <laughs> No kaboom! I wonder if it'll work for me. <laughs> that kaboom worked for me. That's because I didn't catch you, you beast. I'll teach you to bully my superhero, you overgrown parrot. Oh well, I guess it's gonna have to be peanut butter sandwiches again. <laughs> You know, it just dawned on me, Tyrone. The most cattle we've seen are back in the sheriff's jail. Hmm. Do you suspect what I perchance suspect? My little butterfly antennae? I should do, Tyrone. That sheriff's gotta be a phony. Put it in reverse and let's get back to town. So, you finally figured out I was the rustler, huh? How did a couple of dummies like you do that? Nobody outsmarts my Tyrone. It was just a simple case of putting two and two together. Numero uno, you have all the four-footed critters in town in that cell. Yeah? And what, may I ask, was number two? I made a lucky guess. <laughs> and now, to make another lucky guess. You're right again, Tyrone. It's the real sheriff, all tied up in the corner. It's an open and shut case, my little piano key. You can say that again, Booby. You open the door, and I'm a gonna close it. <laughs> now, how do you get us out of this mess, Tyrone? I'll think of something. So long, suckers! <laughs> Reach, Sheriff. I've got you covered. <laughs> With a cane? And what if I don't reach? And I won't. You ask for it. <laughs> a water squirting cane. Big deal. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> what a dodo bird of a crime fighter. <laughs> Tyrone, would you get us out of here this instant? Oh, patience, my sweet. I shall force the door with my shoulder. <laughs> uh -oh. I think I bruised my home is where the heart is tattoo. I've got a spare key. Now he tells me. I wish I had a spare shoulder. <laughs> Come, my dear, we must head for home. I need the rest. But Tyrone, aren't you going to go after that phony sheriff? I've done enough superhero work for one day. How could you let that phony sheriff make a fool out of you, Tyrone? I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. You let him get away. Patience, my little kitten. I have a hunch that he will be giving himself up very shortly, if not sooner. 
cast your eyes below, my sweet. I sure dig your aftershave cologne, mister. That's where I call finger licking good. Come on, 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 come how did you figure that one out, Tyrone? The water I squirted the phony sheriff with was scented with roast beef. <laughs> oh, what a genius, what a genius. <laughs> well, at least the day's not a total loss. I got his shirt. <laughs> Speaking of roast beef, how about stopping by a fancy restaurant for dinner with candlelight and limeade, Tyrone? What? And let your brand new pressure cooker get lonely? You never take me anywhere. I'm treated just like a slave. I should have listened to my mother and married a cook or a butler or a millionaire. Stay with us. The Netflix will be right back. It can go 50 miles per hour, downhill, and it has no brakes. It can go 30 miles per hour in traffic, and a 10-year-old can drive it. It can go 35 miles per hour, and it doesn't have seat belts. So before you give your child anything that can go faster than your child, remember, the pavement feels a lot softer. To a skateboarder and a helmet, elbow pads, knee pads and gloves. Your average car on the road acts a lot more friendly when a child on a bike knows the rules of the road. And a child roller skating on even pavement spends a lot more time skating, not falling. For free safety information, write Wheels. Washington, D.C. 20207. Wheels. Washington, D.C. 20207. need assembly. All have interchangeable parts. A few changes and hydrocopter is a paddle boat for a one-man cruiser. You can combine it with Biotron and build your own toy. Like these. Batteries for Biotron and hydrocopter not included. Hydrocopter, Biotron, and Space Glider all sold separately by Miko. I think I see Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me 
Here's the story. A boy has been abducted and was seen accidentally in a window by little Bill Hi. before the crooks pulled the boy out of sight. Frankie went to the police, but it was too late. The men had already decided to move the boy to another hideout in their van. The Red Hand Gang figured they might find the new hideout by following the crook's girlfriend. So, Joanne climbed the ladder outside of a window to make sure she was still there and almost got caught. But the gang was able to get away and trail the lady to an old haunted mansion where the kidnappers had taken the boy. Frankie climbed the fence to investigate. Inside, the men caught sight of him, but thought he was just some kid goofing around. Frankie played it cool. Then, signal Doc, and the two boys sneaked into the cellar to look around. It is an old lady, and she's coming this way, and she, and she doesn't have any head. Upstairs. Uh, why don't you take Jr. instead of me? Uh, he uh, has better n night night vision. Night vision. He has better night vision. Uh, not that I'm scared. I mean, uh, I got nerves of steel. Huh? They uh, said they'd have the money ready for us tomorrow. You better know I mean business. Said I'd phone him again in the morning and tell him where to leave it. The voices are coming from the furnace. You better know I mean business. <sighs> They're upstairs, all right. Hey, we can use this. Doc, you and Joanne stay here and listen. J.R. and I'll scout ahead. If the coast is clear, we'll call down to you through the pipes. Wow. But that's so walking talking. <laughs> Keep the light. We can't use it up there. It might give us away. Okay. Be careful. <laughs>
They look almost real, don't they? Especially that one. Jim, I didn't take my finger off it. Again. You want to play another one? I'm getting hungry. Anything to eat down there in the kitchen? Is that all you can think of? Stuff in your face. Well, if we're going to be up all night. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Someone upstairs. Come on. Did you hear something? Just my stomach growling. Keep it quiet. We must have the boy back there someplace. Should we follow them? First, we'd better tell Doc what's happening. Right hand. It's JR. Are you okay? We saw the man go into the kitchen. We're going to check it out right there. Okay, JR. Ten four. See, the windows are all boarded up so nobody can see the light from outside. Hey, what's that? You don't know what that is? <laughs> that, my friend, is for servants. You see, all over this house there are buttons. Now, you press one of them buttons and one of these things lights up according to where the room is. Real classy. Hey, can I go push one of the buttons? Hey, enough with the plane. Come on. <laughs> you know, when we get the dough, I'm going to get one of them boxes. Let's see. Is the boy in there? I can't tell. I know what this is. You pull on a rope and it goes up and down. It's a dumb waiter. Gee, Marco, why do you have to criticize everything? That's what it's called, not head. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to get me one of those. And one of these. Hey, here's some canned stuff. Do you think this call box thing works? Yeah, maybe. Well, uh... If it shows up there, then somebody would have to push a button out there. Then it don't work. Because how could anybody be in the dining room? Hey. What are you talking about? Anybody be where the button is under the table. Hey, 
Hey, pull yourself together. It's only a dumb cat. Stepped on the butt. Maybe he's looking for something to eat, huh? <laughs> hey, this is some room. Let's eat here. Well, I'm not gonna eat that stuff. There's gotta be something better out there. I'll push the button under the ta table, and you, you tell me when you see it. Oh, come on, Marco. It'll be like you're the butler, and you bring the stuff out when I push the button. I got it. Is it showing out there? No, you ain't got it. It's got to be it. I, I can feel it. I'll press harder. Forget it. It's got to be it. Boy, that's some gimmick. I'm gonna get me one of them buttons in my place. Come on, let's go upstairs. I don't want to leave Lola too long alone with the kid. If you're gonna go classy, let's go classy. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, will you? Hey, this thing is hard to push. You must be rusty. Come on, I thought you were the one that was hungry. Don't leave that there. I thought you said it was heavy. It's light as a feather. Except goofy. Because I'm telling you, that thing was hard to push. Yeah, something's goofy, all right. Come on.
I'm gonna go get something to drink. want you to know how great America is. So, we're always seeing historic things and beautiful places all around America. But I don't know. The way things are going, I wonder what it'll be like when us kids get big. If grown-ups keep wasting fuel, there may not be any by the time I get to college. We got a right to the same kind of America they had, don't we? So come on, everybody. Give us kids our chance. Flavored Frankenberry. <clears throat> and now in specially marked boxes of the monster cereal. Says a monster pop shoot. You should save the bag to make the shoot. Mom can help snip it out and snap it down. When you blow it from the tube, it floats to the ground. It's that old tramp that was hanging around out there. Uh, oh, no. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, it was just a little mistake. Uh, I, I got in the wrong house. You see, I came in here. I thought it was my place. It's quite similar, you know. Oh, I'm gonna ask you one more time. I was looking for a place to sleep. Uh, are you gentlemen uh, the caretakers? No. We're a couple. Yeah. That's right. We are the caretakers. Oh, well, in that case, uh, let me make it perfectly clear. I did not knock over that suit of armor. He did. But I'll be happy to overlook it uh, if you'll pay for the price of uh, uh, fixing my suit. Uh, it, uh, he wrinkled it. Uh, Five dollars should cover it. Five dollars? Yeah. Get out of here! Hey, Doc. What is it, Frankie? Where are you? Right behind you. Keep quiet. They're at the back door. Oh, I'll be glad to stay in the basement, keep out the riffraff, the tramps, the vent. And lock the door back there. I gotta get back up to JR. We'll make sure the boy's there and see if he's tied up or what. I'll check with you through the furnace. Right, I'll take Boomer. All right, we'll put him in here. He won't get out. You'll be okay, Johnny. Just don't try anything foolish. Come on, what? come on. Okay, we're coming. How about move just in front of the door? Boy, that's heavy, Marco. An elephant couldn't move this. One just did. Come on. I want to talk to you. Come on!
get something. Drink out of the kitchen. You can never have enough sugar frosted flakes. They're a delicious part of a complete breakfast. I think I hear a wild animal. That's just your sugar frosted flakes. The secret frosting keeps them crunchy in milk. That's why they're a bear. Sit down to breakfast with Tony. A bear. And you'll discover why. Oh, great. Gee, Tony, you really convinced him. And I just gave him the bear facts. 
Oh, oh Professor Thirst Sonship, you will make them hot and thirsty. Am I thirsty? No, chicken's great face. Funny face makes it fun to drive all thirst away. Funny face, son of a gun. When you're hot and thirsty, there's nothing like Funny Face to cool and refresh you. Because Funny Face is the delicious, fun way to drive your thirst away. Right, Professor? Yeah. Funny Face makes it fun to drive all thirst away.